Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to just get started here. Um, there was a issue that I was kind of working on um, that I wanted to do a quick video about. I was working on this um, this program here, which is a state machine mixer. I'll show you the drawing of it. Here in OneNote, you can see that it was uh, a mixer with a pump and liquid. And I was trying to accomplish something with this, uh, this state machines that um, is called a latching circuit. That's uh, it's pretty common in ladder. However, it's not really something I've ever seen done in, in uh, structured tech, not personally. So while I was trying to figure it out, um, I kind of came across a pretty neat way to handle it and thought that I would uh, just go right ahead and make a video to show you guys how to do it. So in order to kind of visualize this, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it in ladder first. So I'm going to add a new POU here. Um, I'm going to go to add object. I'm going to go to POU. And we will call it lad latch. And it's going to be a ladder diagram. We'll add that. And we'll go ahead and write, write it right away. We'll add it to our main task. So you know this is the one we're going to want to run. We'll remove this one from our main task. We're not deleting the program. We're just deleting it out of the task. And then we'll go ahead and start adding some variables. Um, we're going to add a start variable. That's going to be a full. We'll have a stop variable. That will also be a bool. And then we'll have the motor variable. That will be just a Boolean output to start the motor. Okay, so I'm coming down here to our ladder. Uh, a couple of things we're gonna need to add. First of all, we need a, uh, need a um, contact. And then we'll add a negated contact for our stop button because we want to start, but not stop. And then we want to add a coil to the end here. So we'll add a coil and we're going to go ahead and just make this start. Okay, make this stop. Okay, now we'll make this the Motor. Okay, so now we got that going on. Uh, in order to kind of show you what's happening here, uh, we'll do a quick little visualization. So, uh, once we're in the visualization, do some buttons, do a column control, do a button. This button will uh, play the start. Go ahead and select it, copy it, go ahead and paste this button and make this one our stop. Our stop button. Um, I'm going to add some color to these just because I like it. I'll go to gradient, do color one. Green, okay. We'll give it a horizontal gradient. Um, yeah, horizontal gradient. And then make the gradient type radial. Um, the actual. Uh, let's make it in here. Make it a little bit. Use one color, one gradient, instead of two. We'll change our brightness up a good bit. And we'll kind of bring that brightness up. <clears throat> there we go. That's a nice little button. Go we'll here to stop. Do the same thing. Make it a make it a red color. Flip the 
gradient horizontal, make it a single color, increase the brightness until we fade that black out. Give us a nice looking button there. Okay, let's also go to toolbox and let's grab a lamp. There we go. All right, so our star button. Um, we're playing with the gradients and we're going to set up a configuration. So for the input configuration, we do a tap variable is going to be our ladder start. This here the stop variable is going to be our stop. And of course, this is this lamp variable is going to be our motor and showing if the motor is running. <clears throat> so, people who are custom the ladder are already seeing the issue here. Okay, we're going to do a new vertical tab group. Go ahead and build this project. Take a second, just add all that visual information. And now that we're built, we can log in. Oh, there's something I have to do a download. Yeah, download. Onto the simulation device. <laughs> Those of you who are not familiar with uh, how to run a simulation on CodeSys, simply just go to online and go to simulate. That will push in simulate mode. And you'll see the simulation come up down here in the, uh, the bottom tray. This will load us up. I make my this yeah. I make our toolbox just here. Don't like the auto hide feature. It makes it just pop up in the way when we're going down. So we want our visualization. We can start the PLC. Now we can see we've got a we've got our buttons and we've got our, our motor ready. We click the start button. See so what happens is as soon as we release the start button, it goes off. Why did you do that? It goes off because the start button is not being held on. We don't want the start button being held on because we want to stop this motor, right? We want it to stop and we want to have to push the button to start it again, right? In order to make this Boolean uh, unlatch itself, if we, if we do this, we have to take a whole another branch of logic that uses the stop button to, un to, to unlatch the start because it's just not very elegant. So that the way that most people solve this a very common solution in ladder logic programming to use a latch. So what we'll do is we'll go here, we will add a uh, parallel branch, insert contact here. I actually want to do it on the side insert. Uh, contact parallel below. And we're gonna make this a motor. Right? That's the motor. So now when we log this in. I'm going to go ahead and download again. Okay. I 
Once this gets downloaded. Okay, we're boom, we're online. We'll go ahead and start our PLC running. Oh, let's see, it already, there we go. We're running and our visualization comes back online. We're working at the start. Look at that. Because this motor boolean will trigger and latch itself on as long as the motor is running, the motor will hold itself so the start button does not even push again. If we push stop button, look at that. The stop button interrupts the motor right away. So start button, motor running, latched in, stop. This is a latching circuit. So we have start or motor makes the motor run and stop whenever stop is not pushed. So to do this in structured text, We'll go right ahead and log out, and we'll add one more POU. We we'll add an object. We we'll add a POU. We we'll make it a structured text. Uh, SFC structured text, and then we're going to call this one ST latch. All right. So we'll add that ST latch. We we'll immediately bring this one down to our main task, so we don't forget to do that. I've done that a couple of times. I want to delete this one out because we're not going to be using the ladder anymore. All right. And so now we have our SD ladder program. We can actually go back, right back to the ladder latch and copy these variables because we're going to use the same ones. So control C, go to our ST latch program, control D. We have start bool, stop bool, motor bool. And then we're going to create an if statement. If start a RT start or motor and not stop. Remember, we, we stop is negated, so it's a not feature, right, not stop, then what we want to do, then we want motor, two, one, let's run. Let's set it in my Else, so if any situation other than this occurs, right, meaning stop is pressed, then motor equals to zero. Okay, so if start or motor is running and not stop, then motor run. Else, motor zero, meaning if start or the stop button changes at all, then stop the, the motor. So we're real quick, we're going to change these buttons so that they have an input configuration. So right now they're pointed at our, our ladder latch start. Take this out. So the ST, myself out of the way, latch, uh, start. And then here, ST, latch, dot, stop. I can't see it long enough, so Let me stretch this out. Let's see. Latch dot stop. And this one, of course, is going to be. 
thing. SCLatch.mode. Good. Looks good to me. Very good. And we'll go ahead and log in. I'm just going to log in with the download. Some pretty big changes we made. Sit back while that completes. And we're online. Let me throw some nation to crank up here. We're going to start that. Notice our visualization comes on, and we can see everything's false when we get start. Boom, motor true, motor true, latches it right on. Stop, boom, shuts it off. Start, boom, latches that motor true in with the or statement, and the stop, shuts it right off with the not and the else. See how that works? So, Okay, guys, uh, that should be about it. I hope that this uh, helps someone to maybe um, make a difference in, in your structured text program. And so, uh, got any questions? Uh, give me a shout. Uh, I'm always available on LinkedIn. And hopefully, this, uh, this works for you. Let me know if you like it, you use it. If you're interested in doing some more automation synergy, that's uh, this uh, this you know, program that we're doing here. We also have um, Flash Separator that we're working on. I've got several other videos um, with um, you know different uh, different train suggestions, different different other things that we're doing. Um, we have the CodeSys series uh, with the with the uh, initial videos and some initial information. If you want to get access to any of this, just email me and or hit me up on LinkedIn, and we can roll you right into our ladder logic, uh, or I'm sorry, our structured text programming uh, with with uh, CodeSys. All right, thanks very much. Um, hope you guys enjoy this, and um, and hope you get some out of it.